Oftentimes you'll see where it's asked that you post an auto scan of your car. So here's how to do this. Take a look at the VIN number and the seventh and eighth digits are your chassis code. Here's a VIN number we use for an example. And you can see that the seventh and eighth digits are 1J. So it's a 1J chassis code. So you want to take your Rostec cable, plug it up, light should go amber, then green. If it's flashing red or it doesn't go green, you got some of the problem. So, got the cable plugged up, put the key in the ignition, turn the ignition on, and the cluster lights up. Of course, we've got an emissions workshop. So, with the software, click on the auto scan and select chassis type. And I'm going to look for 1J. And there's 1J. Click on it, and I'm ready to click start. You'll notice where the scan and a whole bunch of numbers there. What those are is all the possible control modules for that chassis code in the world market. Obviously, every car in the world market is going to have an O1, an engine, so it scanned the engine. The car that it's being scanned here is a manual transmission, so it's trying to scan O2 transmission control module, which does not exist in this car, so it's not going to find it. Basically, what I'm getting at here is all those different control modules it's going to try and scan for are not going to be in every single car. So there will be control modules it's going to try and find that don't exist. So if it's not scanned something, doesn't mean there's something wrong with the control module necessarily, just may not be in this particular car. Now we're here on ABS brakes, which does exist in this car, and there it is. Now an auto scan takes a few minutes, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a small break and we'll come back at the end. And we're back. So with the auto scan complete, you're now ready to go down to the results box and click on the copy button. So we'll give it a click. And what this does is copy the entire fault code list, or the entire scan, to the clipboard. From the clipboard is a function of the Windows operating system. So from here, you can now go into the forms, and I'm going to make a new post. Um, I would always recommend you give a little bit of information about the car, um, year, model maybe an engine or a, just a general idea of what you're after. Click in the text area where you're going to type your message, then right click and you'll get a window pops up and click on paste and it'll put that whole auto scan in there for you, just like that. Uh, controversy, you can also, where you're typing in your message, you can also hit control V and it'll paste it in. So once your auto scan is posted in there, you know, hey I got this kind of problem with the car, it does it hot, does it cold, it does it whenever I've tried this, you know, give as much information. The more information you can give, the more useful answers you'll get. And then when you submit your post, you now see the auto scan is in there. In this case, we've got a glow plug fault. So there's the entire auto scan along with, you know, the information you have to give. So that's how you do an auto scan. From auto scan, you can also go into individual control modules once the auto scan is complete. So here we are back at the auto scan again. You'll notice the things that are in red are control modules that have DTCs. So engine control module has a fault, it's red, whereas the ABS control module does not have any DTCs. So anyway, I'm going to click on the red part or double click on it and it goes straight into the control module and straight into the DTC reading. So and pulls up TTC. So let's say I've made my repairs. So from there I can clear my fault codes. Am I sure? Yes. And done and go back and close control module. Now that's how you can do it to individual control modules. You can also click on the clear all DTCs. But now the DTC is cleared. Next time the car started, no error messages. So hope you found this information useful. Enjoy.